So uh, I, I was, guess I have to say I was born in Austin, Texas, um, and started with Richard Linklater. Uh, that was my first documentary. And Quentin spent a lot of time there, as well as Robert Rodriguez, who still lives there. Um, so I, I finished the Linklater doc, but when I was spending a lot of time there, uh, we all know who Quentin is via the media. You know, and it's a very big personality and, and loud, and he's accused of a lot of things. There's a lot of, you know, that sort of, um, there's a lot of tax on him. When he was talked about on the street, oh, he's such a nice guy. He's so soft. He's so, and I'm like, what? <laughs> so it was very intriguing at that level, as well as who he is. You know, obviously, he's one of the greatest filmmakers of all time and <clears throat> proficient in every part of the filmmaking process. But then to learn that he has this like deeper side to him was very intriguing. So, and he saw the link later doc. He gave me his blessing and made it very easy to um, to get a hold of superstars like Michael Madsen. <laughs> it was really hard. I mean, even Quentin asked me, he's like, what was the hardest part of making this film? I was like, 90 minutes. I was like, cutting it down to 90. I mean, yeah. there's, I mean, the people that we sat with, I don't think anybody left in under an hour and a half. Like, it, they, they loved to talk about it. Everything they talked about was, um, had value and, and worth and um, there's, a, there's a lot and I can't think of what did we just talk about? One of my favorites was, I feel like Eli Roth's interview was fantastic and um, I mean everyone's was, but I really loved all of his stories, kind of personal stories about, you know, Terrence Hill going to his home for like Rosh Hashanah and kind of him teaching him, like, oh, what are these traditions that you have and just kind of... Oh, you know, um, yeah, Robert Forster actually told the story about um, him being on Jackie Brown and getting into the character and sitting down with Quinn and telling him about his father and how he was in the circus and, and worked with elephants. And, do you know this history of Robert? Um, no. It's really, it's, it, and, and it was a really heartfelt story and how thankful that Robert was that he was actually sitting there listening to it, you know? So when Robert showed up on set, behind, the off, behind his desk in the office, in Max Cherry's office, are Ringling Brothers posters and, and circus paraphernalia. So when Forrester walked in, he felt at home. He felt, you know, and he, he, you know, there's just so much stuff like that. There's enough people out there digging dirt that I'm not, I don't want to, and I'm not going to. Um, there was definitely, this project definitely lended itself to that. There could have been points where I was like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna push this a little further just for more eyes, right? I don't agree with that, um, so I didn't sign up for it. I think I made that clear. I think Quentin knew that, and Quentin getting behind it and giving his, giving me his blessing, allowed his family, I think, to uh, to move in with uh, with with trust and confidence. I th I hope. I you know I said it earlier today. I probably said it a couple times. I. I didn't know you at all, but I knew him. Yeah. And you wouldn't be doing that if he didn't like you. So that was all I really needed to know. I said, okay, man. You know, whatever she asked me, I'm gonna answer.